Xiaomi keep dropping lots of, you know, snippets of news. And recently they dropped the announcement that they will have Xiaomi hypercharge technology. Now this is 200 watt wide charging, which can go from zero to 100% on a 4,000 milliamp hour cell in eight minutes, okay? And then there's also wireless charging of up to 120 watts, which will give you zero to 100% in 15 minutes, right? And that's just absolutely insane. Now this also goes back to, because recently there was news about the new generation of USB type C cables, right? Which will be able to carry around 240 watts of power, is it? Mm -hmm. So obviously with this kind of coming into action, it's like, okay, you're gonna get even faster charging on these. Cause I mean, eight minutes, I mean, it, if you have eight minutes charging, then you don't necessarily even have to think about a wireless charger because surely yeah. regardless of what you're doing or how busy you are, there's going to be a moment where you need to take a quick shower and you can just plug it in, boom, 100%, you're ready to go, right? Or you're getting ready, whatever it is, right? And that eight minutes would be more than enough. Now, here's the thing. Um, a lot of people are a little bit skeptical because they're like, what is it going to do to the battery in long, uh, you know, long-term usage? Is that going to like affect the lifespan of the battery? I don't know. These are all question marks because that's the first thing that people were saying on my tweet. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I think that's a very valid concern, but I think that concern stems from the fact that we've had terrible batteries for the longest time for smartphones. You think about it, the reason why we get battery degradation, at least from what I understand, is our constant need to charge. So when our batteries hit 50%, we start panicking and we start charging, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, because we know also how long it would take just to fill that gap. If our battery hits 30%, you know, like we, we go out to dinner and battery hits 30%. I remember when we used to all have events, it's like, hey, hey, who's got a power bank? Uh, I, just need to, I just need to top up here for a second. You know, uh, we always have that. So now you can literally go down to 1%. So here's the thing. As far as I know, again, don't quote me on this, but generally the battery health is best kept if it's in sort of the middle. So ideally you shouldn't let your battery go down below around 10, 15% and it shouldn't go all the way to 100%. 100% so you should keep it yeah. between 20 and 90% is the optimal that you should keep it at, right? Okay. Yeah. And like that's, that's, that's for example, why on a Tesla, you shouldn't always fully charge the car, right? So you should keep it and, and keeping your battery at 100% for a long period of time. Again, guys, by the way, we're not battery experts. Some There's going to no, be people in the no. comments saying you guys are just going on. So we don't know specifics, but, uh, you know, in terms of like, I just think the charging technology, unfortunately, battery technology hasn't gone so far ahead where we can have a battery that lasts a week, okay? Uh, if it was the case where we could have a battery that would be so powerful in the same amount of space that could last that much longer, I'm sure there's some things in the works, but there's nothing that's really kind of changed that concept yet. If it does, then I would prefer something like that where, okay, sure, it's going to take me an hour to charge my phone, but it's going to last me a week rather than a day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, obviously, what a lot of companies are doing to kind of counter that is just increase the speed of charging so then it's like you can charge it much much faster with 200 watt charges and things because the core battery technology hasn't really changed i mean true you could also do something like what we've seen with uh the likes of like black shark and the asus where it can quickly charge when it gets to 80 90 percent it starts trickle charging because you could set that within the the device where um I believe it was Asus where once you yeah. go to bed at night, um, even though it takes only two hours to charge the phone, it can actually stretch it out for a longer period of time or if yeah. you stop charging at a certain point. The, so I think those things will come in to help uh, maintain battery. Yeah, that's battery the, the, those sort of features are now becoming a lot more standard because you know battery health long term is obviously still uh, a concern. But um, yeah, maybe if they have a few of these things in place, then we'll see... But I mean, at the end of the day, these devices are obviously just concept devices at, at, at this time. We've not actually seen them in hand. We've not got them on commercial devices. So once we've tested them, you know, in a couple of years, we'll see if that sort of fast charging actually has any long-term effect. Right, right now at this point, we are not experts in this area, so we can't really tell you exactly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you want to see more clips like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks, and I'll see you next time.